So I just finished filming two videos, so to reward myself, let's head to the kitchen. Hey everyone, I bet you weren't expecting this video. Since everyone has been asking, I decided why not make my first ever cooking video on a dish that everyone knows, and that is spaghetti and meatballs. I've never made a cooking video in my life before, and you know what's worse? I've never cooked this dish before, so I'm actually very, very nervous, but we've got all the ingredients right here. We've got the sauce. You know, you guys, you guys know you need the sauce, man. You can't make spaghetti and meatballs without the meatballs, so I have a container full of meatballs right here. We've got basil, we've got tomatoes, we've got the spaghetti itself, the spaghetti, we've got thin spaghetti, we've got the meat right here. We have a pan where we're gonna be cooking everything. And um, I'm basically just gonna be going with my mom's recipe, so I asked her, you know, how, how I should make this. And I don't know if I'll be able to do it like perfectly, but we've got, you know, garlic right here. We gotta chop this up. We gotta, oh man, <laughs> I'm, I, ho I really hope that this tastes good because this is a lot of food and I'm gonna feel really bad if I have to throw this out. So hopefully you guys do enjoy my very favorite cooking video. So please leave a like on this video if you guys wanna see more cooking videos in the future, but hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get, let, uh, <laughs> let's start cooking. And I'm sorry, I don't have an apron or a chef's hat, maybe in the next cooking video. So yeah, let's get started. I will say that I'm glad I prepared all the ingredients because if I didn't, it would have made the challenge way harder than it should be. So first things first, we've got to chop up the garlic and the onion. So I'm gonna be using half a half an onion, I think, and then using two of these, uh, what do they call it? Two little things of garlic. I remember that you gotta press down with a knife and it should open up the shell just like so, and I should be able to peel it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so once you have the garlic peeled, you wanna chop it up into like small pieces, I'm pretty sure. Oh man, I really hope this turns out well. I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna cut myself too. Let me zoom in a little bit. I don't know if it's just me, but when I touch garlic, I feel like my fingers are on fire. All right, so I'm gonna cut it into like little pieces. All right, so one, one garlic is done. Then you wanna chop it down the other direction. So we've got little tiny pieces. I'm so scared to use the knife, guys. Like ever since I was young, I hated using the knife because I, I'd be so scared to cut myself. All right, so once you got the garlic, you gotta cut up an onion. And I actually don't know how to cut an onion, so I'm just gonna cut it in half. Oh gosh. All right, there we go. Easy as that, I guess. Guys, it's coming. I think I think when you cut onions, you start crying, right? So I gotta be careful. A few minutes later. Guys, we have a problem. I've never chopped or peeled an onion before, so desperate measure calls, you gotta use Google. How to peel an onion. There we go, YouTube is saving the day once again. Oh, okay, no wonder it wasn't working. I have to cut off this root thingy. All right, so I'm gonna cut this off and everything should just come falling off, right? I hope. All right, let's see if it works. I'm gonna peel off the rest of this onion. Oh, I think it's working, guys. Hey, 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 very nice. Uh, yo, they call me Luigi. Oh yes, okay, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the onion though, so I'm just gonna like cut it up into like multiple pieces. And it's just gonna fall into like pieces anyways. It's gonna split apart, so I'm just gonna cut these into multiple slices. And then I think this should be good, right? Or should I cut it more? I'm gonna cut these in half then. 
So I'm pretty sure the next step is to cook this meat and then season it. Even though I have no idea how to do any of this, I just gotta say, I'm having a blast right now. If you guys wanna see more cooking videos, you know, in the future, let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys want me to make next? What, a burger or anything like that? I would, I would be so, so down to do that. So, I think what I'm gonna do next is turn up this stove right here. Yes, the fire just started up. I'm gonna put it on medium. Wait for this to heat up. How's, how's this angle working out for you guys? How, how about this? Now you guys can see inside the pan. So we're gonna put this meat inside this pan right here. Season it with pepper and salt, and we should be good. And uh, this is the onion and garlic that I chopped up, so I'm gonna be putting that in there too. Oh wait, no, actually, I gotta do this first. Oh, I'm so glad I remembered. Oh, it's not too late. My mom told me to cook everything in this pot so you know I don't have to wash too many things. Oh, oh, okay, okay, that's how you, oh, okay, that's how you wanna play me. The oil is starting to sizzle and starting to pop, so it wants to fight, guy. Oh, oh, relax, relax, what the, it's, oh. Oh my, can you guys see that? Whoa, relax, relax, stop popping everywhere. Oh my God, I'm scared. Oh, oh. Okay, the oil needs to stop popping everywhere, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in all the garlic and... Ah! Okay, okay, I'm out of here. All right, so we got the onion and garlic cooking up right now. I'm gonna set the heat to low, and I'm just gonna, you know, wait until the... Oh, relax! Just waiting for this, you know, onion and garlic to cook up, then I can throw the rest of, or all of this meat in there. Mm, mm, mm. Dude, I'm actually so excited. I haven't eaten since this morning, basically, so. Ah, I thought you calmed down, relax. Once you get a little bit of uh, brownness in the onion and garlic, that's when you know, you know, I think, that's when you know you should uh, toss the meat in there. So what I'm gonna do, just take this spatula, throw all this, ah! Okay, there we go. I thought I was gonna splash all in my face. All right, start cooking up the meat. Oh, it's sticking. Oh, no, 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 no. If it's sticking, throw in more oil, just like so. All right, that should be good. Come on, man, why can't I be a good chef? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is use the shaker, put a ton of pepper in here. The spoon is stuck. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna take like, you know, a spoon or two, season season the meat a little bit. All right, that should be good enough. I don't want this to be like super salty, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook it up. Oh yeah, it's starting to cook up real nice. Juice is flowing out of the, oh wow. Okay, I gotta pay attention, man. All right, just a second. I, got, I gotta mix the meat a little bit more. Make sure everything is getting cooked equally. Okay, so while I wait for the rest of the meat to cook up, what I need to do now is chop up these, oh, I forgot. We've got basil. My mom got me some basil to use for this. I also need to chop up these tomatoes as well. So I, yeah, I think I'm gonna chop up these tomatoes first. I think slices should be fine, right? Just whole slices like this. Yeah, my finger would have been gone there. If I, if I had my hand right there, guys, I knew I, I knew I should have left my hand. You know, I shouldn't have left my hand. All right, oh God, I'm scared. Yo, you're gonna chop off my finger, dog. I'm gonna go ahead and season the meat a little bit more. Put some more pepper in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more salt in here. I really hope this doesn't turn out to be super salty. That's what I'm scared about. Maybe a little bit more pepper, you know? All right, I think we are ready for the next step. And that, my friends, is the sauce, baby. We got some prego sauce. All right, so we're gonna be using that. Oh, shoot, I, oh, I forgot to chop up the basil. Let me go ahead and do that real quickly. Chop up? I don't know what I was talking about, guys. These are just leaves. I can just, you know, rip them apart, put them in here. All right, there we go, just like that. We've got the basil in here now. It's gonna make things smell way nicer. 
You know, it, it looks like, guys, it literally looks like I'm making a meat salad right now, but trust me, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna turn out really well. This is my mom's recipe, so trust me, it's gonna be good. So, I'm gonna use this right here. Throw in the prego sauce, baby. All right, come on. Make sure you put all the sauce into here. And I think my mom said I need some water too. I think like half a cup should be good. Oh no. Oh no guys, I might have put in too much water. Why did I put water? Oh my, I knew it. Oh man, I, I really hope I didn't mess up guys. Like this, this could be the end of this. I, I, I might have just ruined the dish. All right, Does it, doesn't this look a little too watery to you guys? I don't know about you guys, but this might be a little too... I'm gonna drop the tomatoes in here too. Make it a little bit more tomato-y. Actually guys, you know what? While we wait for this to, you know, finish cooking up and become a little less watery, I feel like if I cook it a little longer, it'll become a little less watery. So while we do that, I think it's time for us to start cooking up the noodles. Okay, so let's fill this pot up with some water. And then put this on the stove over here. Turn up the heat. I am so glad I was right. It's starting to turn a little less watery now since I've been cooking it. And also, I'm uh, defrosting the meatballs right now so I can toss them in here. And the water's still boiling. I'm still waiting for the water to boil so I can throw these in there. And after that, we will have the finished product, so I'm so excited, guys. Oh, man. I, I You know, at first, I wasn't even gonna film me cooking, you know, the spaghetti and meatballs, but, oh, and it's done. All right, so we've got the meatballs now, as you guys can see. I'm gonna go ahead and toss these Costco meatballs into, okay, there we go. We got the, oh. We got the meatballs inside of here now. Just mix them around, let them, let these meatballs soak in the sauce. Oh yes, I'm, oh shoot, I'm so excited now. It actually, it actually smells so good, man. Man, now, now, I'm done with Minecraft. I'm becoming a cooking channel. I'm just kidding, guys, I love Minecraft. But, cooking, you know, it's not, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, not too shabby. The water's boiling now, so in goes the noodles. There we go. So now we wait. I think the sauce should be done now, so I'm just gonna turn off the turn off the stove. A few minutes later. Please pray for me that I don't drop this pot. Right, here we go. Please don't be hot. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, dang, these actually work. I thought my hands would be burning right now. Get rid of all the water in this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some extra virgin olive oil on top of this. All right, I think that should be good so that the noodles don't like stick together, I think. Guys, I think I might have failed as a chef. Why didn't I do any taste tests while I was cooking? The moment of truth, guys. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple meatballs in here, a couple basil. Doesn't that look pretty, guys? Oh, yes. Oh, this is definitely a thumbnail shot. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you guys to my dining table, and that is where we're gonna go ahead and do a taste test. Oh, here we go. All right, this is it guys. Can you believe that this entire video took two hours to film? I can't believe it took that long, but I can't wait guys. Like this is the moment I've been waiting for. I really hope this tastes good and I really hope everything is cooked. <laughs> this is the first ever cooking video I have ever filmed. So I hope you guys enjoyed, it's time. Let's dig in. First bite of this meal. I gotta make sure I get the meatball, the onions, the basil, everything. Mmm.
Did I make this? Yeah, I made this. Like, it's super good. I'm, I'm actually so proud. Like, I wish I gave you guys the first bite. You know what? I'll get you guys another bowl. All right, but um, it's literally 11:40, 11 uh, 11:54 p.m. right now. This is a midnight snack for me, but um, I gotta say, <clears throat> this is uh, this is good. It's just a tad bit, a little too salty, but hey, it's okay. I can always add <laughs> more water. I thought it was gonna ruin it when I added more water, but it turns out it dried up because it kept cooking, so. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys want more cooking videos? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like. Um, how about 5,000 likes on this video and I'll make cooking challenge number two. How does that sound? This is actually my first like in the house video basically for the main channel. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.